As you're working on your playlist, you also want to make sure to save it. Exiting a new playlist will automatically ask you to save it. You can also just press Command S on your keyboard or navigate to File Save. When saving your file, you have two options, either to save it as a reference file or save it as a standalone. A reference playlist doesn't copy the videos directly into the file and is dependent on having the original packages accessible on your computer. A reference playlist doesn't take up much storage on your computer as it doesn't have any video attached to it. It simply refers to the original video packages when it plays back video. If you delete the original files, you won't be able to play back the video. A standalone playlist, on the other hand, is an independent file that doesn't need any reference link. It copies the videos of the instances directly into the new file and can stand on its own. This is a great way of saving your playlists if you want to share them out with other individuals. You'll see that even if I delete the source video, my playlist will still be able to open up and play back video.